Hello there, and welcome to this advanced tutorial for the live face app and Crazy Talk Animator 3.3, where I'm going to show you how to create your own facial animations um, to create your own motion clip, and then later do blending with additional facial features on top. So I've got my setup here with Crazy Talk Animator 3, and I have a new character. This character is from a, a developer we have, a Crazy Talk Animator developer called Serg Pilipenkos. And he has a content pack called Schoolmates. And I chose a character here called Boy3S, or Boy3Side. He's a side character. All right. So we have our facial mocap panel set up here. And I also have my live face app running on my iPhone 10, And everything is connected. And uh, what I wish to do is I'm going to go to preview here. Uh, you can see before I start, you'll notice that we have several facial features selected or masked inside the, the, the facial feature panel. And I could pre preview this. I can animate this. All right. I have a left eye. I have my mouth. All right. So I can actually check and uncheck specific facial features on the fly. And this is actually very cool. I can turn things off or I can just continue the way they are. So let's say, look at my eyebrows. I'm animating, animating my eyebrows through the app, right? So let's say I turn off or I deselect my eyebrows and you'll see everything else is working except my eyebrows. I can also do the same for my eyes. I can move my eyes, let's see. <laughs> move my eyes left and right, but you'll see only one of my eyes is working. And this is because I deselected that other eye. Okay. So when you want to create an animation, um, you might want to, ideally, the best thing is to select all. We have a button here called select all, and this will check every uh, facial feature. And on top of that, it'll select the head orientation. I can deselect that. And you'll see that even though I move my head, it doesn't move anymore. Okay. I can also decide to clear all. I can click on clear here. You'll see that nothing happens. But if I select specific facial features, I could slowly make my character come alive because I'm selecting all those parts. All right. Now that's very easy. So what do we want to do? I basically want to um, select individual, a couple of individual features, and I'm going to record a motion clip inside the timeline. And then I'm going to deselect all those facial features and then only select, let's say, head orientation or a couple of others. And I'm going to make sure that down here inside uh, the panel, there's an option called blend data on next recording. What this does is basically it layers animations on top of each other. So I could select specific facial features and I can do an animation. And then I could stop the animation and I have a motion clip created. And then I click on blend data on next recording and I bring my time scrub all the way to the beginning. And then on my facial feature, I can uncheck. And let's say I only want head orientation or maybe only eye movements. And then I record and I do that performance and crazy talk will overwrite that initial motion clip that we did. It'll maintain the original animation while superimposing and blending that new animation on top of it. So in the past, we've done tutorials with crazy talk, um, crazy talk eight and crazy talk seven on how we've taught users how to really create professional grade animations. This is the way to do it. Um, ideally, obviously, you want to select all these facial, feature, facial features and just give it a go. But sometimes when you take your time and you choose one facial feature, record, then blade on, uh, blend data on next recording and you do it again and you superimpose, this gives you a lot more control over individual features. The reason being it's because sometimes we make mistakes. And instead of, if I have all my features selected and my head movements and everything, and I'm recording, and then I notice 95% of it was perfect, but I don't like my eye movement. My eye movements were a bit weird, okay? So 
normally I would have to either go in and try to keyframe that and do it manually, and it's a big, big of, a, of a headache. But if I do it on blend data on next recording, I can probably just layer those animations. And if I made a mistake here, I can just control Z that to go one step backwards and redo that part that I want to correct. So it's a very, very nifty tool, and it's actually very practical when you use it for your animations, okay? So let's do just that. I'm gonna clear all, and um, let's say I'm gonna select everything, and I'm not going to choose my head orientation, nor my eye movement, okay? So no head orientation and only my, my mouth and my eyebrows, but I cannot control my eyes. I'll do that later on. So I'm gonna choose blend data on next recording and I'm gonna click on record. We're gonna do about five or 10 seconds. All right, so this is my animation. You'll see that I have no head orientation and no eye movement, okay? That's all I have at this point. And stop, great. Now we go down here at the bottom and I'm gonna click on um, the timeline. I can open this with F3. Now before I do that, notice that we have the time scrub here and you'll see that it moved forward. And if I select that, I hold on to it and I drag backwards, you can see my animation playing, the one that I just did. Okay, so what does this look like? I'm gonna click on F3, I'm gonna open the timeline. Let's move this facial mocap, let's just close that. And inside, I have my boy three selected. I want to open the face track. So I'll click on face and I'm going to bring, I'm going to go back and you'll see that inside the facial clip track, we have a motion clip that was generated. Let me try to zoom out of the timeline and you can see that facial motion clip track. And I can play this back. I can click on play and you'll see my animation playing without my eye movements and without head orientation or none of that, okay? So I lay I did that. Now I wanna layer the other animations. So let me close the, well, let's keep it open. Let's make this interesting. I'm gonna open the facial mocap panel. And this time around, I'm gonna clear, I'm gonna clear everything. And I'm only going to select the left eye the right eye, and then head orientation, okay? If I click on preview, you'll see that I, I can do everything I want, but I'm not controlling my mouth anymore, only my eyes and my, my head, okay? So I like that. We're gonna do that. I'm gonna make sure blend data on next recording is on. And important, very important, look at the bottom of the timeline, the time scrub. Make sure the time scrub is all the way to the beginning of that motion clip, all right? Because we want to start recording from the very beginning so that we can layer our animations. Best way is just to click on the stop button. All right, let's give this a try. So I'm gonna click on record and there we go. So I have my head orientation. I have my, my eye movements. Okay, and just about there, stop. And if I go back and play this animation, you'll see that we layered everything one on top of each other. It composited these animations. And it actually looks pretty cool. All right, so this is a good tip. And like I mentioned, since I layered my animation, if later on I notice, oh, I didn't move my head to the left, I was supposed to move it to the right. Instead of wasting time and doing everything all over again, you can just control Z, control Z, and that will delete that last animation that you did. See, undo here. And if I play this back, you'll notice that I have the original animation without that head movement and without those eye uh, movements too. So that's a nifty little trick by just layering and using blend data on next recording. All right, so that's it for this advanced tutorial. Uh, we hope that these tricks can help you in creating really solid, really professional looking animations with your new Life Face app in Crazy Talk Animator 3. All right.